All right, guys, welcome back. We are picking up chapter two. Paul. From what I gather, it seems like they're probably going to be going through the seasons of their life, their relationship together. I feel like it's setting me up for a, an, an emotional haymaker. All right, the dog's a little bigger. That, that's not Neva, is it? It is Neva. Alright. Neva's big now. Neva. Hello, puppy. Come on, Neva. Did she teleport? Is that what just happened? It looked like she just kind of disappeared. She disappeared a few different times at the beginning, right? And it looks like some of these creatures are in the back. Uh, frozen. All right. Look at the colors change. Ah. I love fall. All right. Halloween. And Neva's not playing around. She's wasting no time. Get him, Neva. Show him who's boss. Let's go, go. Good doggy. Good doggy. I wonder how difficult this is supposed to get. Get him, Neva. Or is it more just about like the art? Drinking in the, the aesthetic. I'm enjoying watching Neva play with his new chew, chew toy. I don't really tell you if Neva's a boy or a girl, right? What happened to all these uh these goo creatures though? Once the wind starts to change a little bit, they start having a harder time. Eva can teleport. It's like a phantom spirit or something, right? Look at her. Got a girl. Yeah, Neva. Good girl. Good girl. What are Neva's pronouns? And I feel like I know better. Like when they want you to like kind of. I said the last episode. They want to have you taken aback with the visuals. All the beauty of the art. Then some fucking monster is about to drop out of the sky or burrow out from below you. Try and plant a, a boot betwixt your cheeks. That's not going to happen this episode. I guarantee. Okay. Uh, double walls with white bars climb. Okay. All right. Neva probably already astral projected to the top of this mountain. Look at the birds. Ah, uh, and that sunset. Mmm. another game where I'm just traveling around with my dog let me know of any more in the comments any that you're aware of that really ought to play I get the feeling like he was uh, not really a dog right like not just a right like a regular type of dog I mean First clue is that she has fucking antlers. Alright. Alright. Uh, we can do 
ability. Now I get over there. Get him, Eva. All right, now we can go. Let's go. Did I get to teleport too eventually? Then ability I gain as well. Clue number two that's not just a normal dog is fucking teleport. That way. Go over here, right? Alright. Don't put put. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Oh, Neva. Dog. Doggy. Doggy. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are kind of into games with uh, striking art styles. I can get to. I can go a long way, right? Because, like, it's not like this, and it's not the only draw to it. But Cuphead kind of has like a similar deal, right? The art style is very distinct and striking. Uh, sure, it has like a lot of nostalgic value for a lot of people. I grew up with like the old timey, uh, was it Flesh Fleischman cartoons, you know? Rubber hose animation. Yeah, that can really grab your attention, like from the first trailer. Like it doesn't even matter what the the gameplay is. You're immediately invested. Then have an awesome gameplay can fucking it will add to it. Because like the Cuphead, the fact that it was so difficult, that immediately piqued my interest as well. You know, everyone telling me how difficult it was. Shit. Uh uh. Uh oh. Okay, let me pay attention. There's a shit, shit, shit. Uh, uh. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, cause there's a game called Mouse that's coming out that has a similar art style to Cuphead. It's like 19, uh, it's like 1940s, 50s style animation. I hope that time frame is correct. Uh, but it's more like um, black and white. A lot like Cuphead, but it's black and white. And it's a first person shooter, it looks like. Alright, come on, come on. Way, get out the way, get out. Come on. No. Alright, Evie, okay? Come on, girl. Alright. You're okay, you're okay. How's my good girl? Oh. Me no man scare you. Let's go. Yeah. I'm looking forward to playing that game Mouse. Though. And you may have heard me say it on the show before. I'm not super all about first person shooters. I can play some of them, you know. Uh, But I think some of it's like. Some of my aversion to first person shooters is due to uh, trauma. Right. Not, I say that mildly. Like, my friends were all so good at him when I was a kid, and I just, I couldn't fuck with him at all. And I would get really frustrated because you can't see, you can't use your peripheral vision, you know? And we're talking about N64 era, golden eye and shit, you know? So it's not like they had all the technology and stuff dialed in, you know? the time it was great it was a lot of fun but the other thing too is like i didn't have that game so it's not like i could practice i was just go over there think we were just gonna play like uh nba jam or street fighter or something stuff that i have access to at the arcade and then we start playing that shit and they're the only ones who fucking had been playing it shit what the fuck oh shit what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? 
and they know like where all the maps and stuff are damn it all right here's the tricky part me trying to play while i gather my thoughts all right all right shit all right Okay, okay. Uh, so they would have played on it and memorized like all the hiding spots and like all the maps, nooks and crannies. And here I come like after school one day and I don't know shit, you know? They know where I'm about to spawn. They'll just how to fucking sit there and pick me off. I'm like, this isn't fun, you know? So I think I kind of hold some of that shit against first person shooters to this day. But I have played like Cyberpunk um, and I had a lot of fun with it. I didn't play it like on release. I played it like after they fixed it. Um, so I didn't have like all the, the negativity that I think a lot of people had with all the glitches and shit. I didn't experience that. Oh, 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 fuck. What the? Ooh. All right. Okay. What do we do? Wait, nope. Okay. Uh, but I think we are going to play some more first person shooters. We're not done with Cyberpunk, actually. Now I think about it. I think we're still doing some stuff uh, with Phantom Liberty. Am I supposed to be over here? We're gonna play a little bit more. Um, Rob's just been busy and we've been playing other stuff. Let's go. There's my girl, there's my brave girl. I have to keep fighting this fucking guy. Ah, gotta fight two of them. Hit. I do. I do. Shit. Okay. Okay. Shit. All right. Damn it. All right. All right. Um, I haven't asked yet. Uh, but if you can, I would appreciate if you could leave us a like. It really helps out our little channel here. Subscribe. Really blowing it. Trying to talk and pay attention to what's going on on the screen at the same time. Damn it. Okay. Alright. Because I'm talking. I'm not paying attention to these patterns. All right. All right, guys. Forgive me for a second while I focus on what's going on in front of me. All right. Be back in a flash. All right. He's going to fly. All right. Can I get the stupid wings? All right. There we go. All right. What are you going to do? Wings. Uh, all right. And wait. Okay. Uh, flight wings. Okay. Got it. All right. All right. Stop running your mouth, Drew. Three birds now. All right, wings, wings. Come on, Neva, I need your help here.
so bad at video games it's surprising that you have a video game show there we go we have a new theme song This is the right way to go. That's right, because I passed that one little area before. I was running my stupid mouth. There we go. Drew, you really ought to pay more attention. Ah, uh, and there are two that I gotta do. Alright. Let's find numero dos. Alright. Alright. Have you played this game? Uh, if you have. Uh, scale of 1 to 10. Were you as bad as me or anywhere in the neighborhood when you first played it? Just out of curiosity. How hard on myself should I be right now? Like trying to talk and do commentary and chit chat isn't an excuse. I need to get better at that shit. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I make it over there? No. All right, where am I supposed to go? Oh, oh shit. Where am I supposed to go? Ah. Ah. Okay. I smell what you're stepping in. Oh, fuck. Dead. <laughs> There we go. Ignore the look of judgment on Neva's face. She always looks like that. Yeah, Drew, but it's because you're constantly disappointing her. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. 
Like so. Jeez. Okay. Okay. patience of me right here and there that's what it is and focus and I lack both okay your boy come on add a girl add a girl good doggy all right let's see uh 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 all right. Mm. All right, a little bit of that. Uh, can I climb up this? There we go. Uh, okay. Go totem. You do Huh. Stay shifting. Keeps moving. Stay over here. Ah. No. Almost, what? Come on. Uh. Oh. No, no. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Okay. No, no, no. 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 Come on. Is it? Is it? Come on. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Really, I want to know who this chick is, but I know they're not going to tell us, right? Just a concerned and determined pet owner. This is what a responsible pet owner looks like, guys. Try to take your dog to the bar. You're kind of a jerk. They don't. They don't want to hang out. They don't want to turn up at the bar. Oh shit! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. 
Drained from a mad dash through the, the trees. All right, we finished fall chapter one. I want to say thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate you. Leave me a like if you like our content. Uh, subscribe, you're going to be around when we drop the next episode. Uh, we got some more spooky episodes coming up soon, also. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.